Hello all, this is Lisa on Bath with Galatians Part 2. I had lost my spot. Um, you know, that happens. <laughs> Not too often I do this, but um, this video is covered with the blood of Jesus Part 2 and nothing um, can show hurt us. Um, we, we just cover it with the blood and that's, I left off with Galatians chapter one, no, Galatians chapter two up to the verse 19. Okay. This is Paul's, uh, the letter to the Galatians because, um, he, uh, the Galatians were trying to live by works, and we know that you can't please God without faith. So let's continue. Number 19, verse 19. For I, through the law, am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. Okay. So Paul is saying that he's under grace, he's under God's grace, and it takes faith. Substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Can't please God without it. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Okay, when Christ was crucified, he died so that we, we may live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So it's talking about faith. It's very important to have faith because it's how we're able to please the Lord. I do not frustrate the grace of God for if righteousness come by law, then Christ is dead in vain. He died for nothing is what he's saying. If it was to come by law, then he died for nothing because God died for our grace. Oh, foolish Galatians. Who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ have been evidently set forth, crucified among you? So he is saying that the Galatians are being fooled if they think they can live by works. Because um, you have to live by faith. You know, these um, this only what I learn of you receive ye the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Are ye so foolish having begun in the spirit? Are ye now made perfect by the flesh? So Paul is saying that don't follow the desires of the flesh. He said God is spirit and faith is spirit. Because it's the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. We can't see faith. It's something that we have to believe in without seeing it. Have you suffered so many things in vain, if it be yet in vain? Just like when Didymus... Did not want to believe that God had um, came back. He had to stick his finger in the Lord's side to believe. Because he didn't have strong enough faith. So this is, this is how important it is to have faith. You know, he had to see the Lord right next to him in order to know that that was God. He therefore that ministereth to you in the spirit and work of miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now, now Abraham was, was a man, a, a righteous man of God, because he, he really believed he had true faith. He was uh, w willing to sacrifice his son. And to, to God stopped him. You know, so this is this is how he, you know, he he Abraham was was really favored by God. He made the covenant with Abraham because he was so obedient. He was so faithful. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. See that that's why he's saying, if you have faith, you know, Abraham had so much faith in him that God made a covenant. 
at the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith. Okay. Preach before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, And thee shall all nations be blessed. Okay? So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham, believing. So, so here he's saying that everybody but the believe on Jesus Christ and come to know Jesus, that he died on a cross, the only begotten son, you know, same as Abraham believed in Christ. He blesses you. This is everybody. This is all people. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Like I say, we cannot please the Lord without having faith. Okay? Not the works. Um, Jesus is saying clearly right here. You can't it, it, you, you can't believe on him with works. It's, it's faith. It's what pleases the Lord. And without that, you cannot please him. So it's not a works. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident for the just shall live by faith. See, we justify in the faith, the grace of God, in the faith of God, not works. You know, and this is false gospel. If you believe that you justify five by works, you're not justified by works. He's saying Paul is saying you foolish. Galatians are foolish. People are foolish when you believe that you justify by works. You can't go to, to, to Jesus with works. It's faith that pleases them. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. They made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So, let me read this again because it's very powerful. Chapter 3, Galatians, verse 14. Read it again. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. Christ died so that we may live. Okay? By his grace. So curses everyone that hang up on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham. Now, 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 who was Abraham? Abraham was a person that believed on God. He was willing to sacrifice his own son for him. So he had much faith. He had a lot of faith. And he had a covenant with him. Might come on the Gentiles. So the blessings is coming on the Gentiles as well as the Jews through Christ, the faith of God. So Jews and Gentiles is under God's blessing is what this is saying. That we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith. His promise, he promised that everybody could come through salvation if they believe on him. Jews and Gentiles, they come to the Salvation, he offers his salvation for Jews and Gentiles to believe on him, to be his blessings. Brethren, I speak after the man of men, though it be but a man's covenant. They don't have a covenant. Yet if it be confirmed, no man disannulleth or addeth thereto. You can't take or add to his covenant or his word. It changes not. Covenant remains the same. What God ordains is, is it. It's a stone. It's, you can't erase it. can't remove it. You can't disannul it. Dismiss it. It's, 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 it's God's word. And it's covenant. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. Okay? He made, God made a promise of covenant. 
to Abraham, the seeds. He saith not, and to seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is in Christ. When God blessed Abraham, he blessed his seeds, okay? And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of God and Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise. But God gave it to Abraham by promise. So God gave it to Abraham, the covenant to Abraham, the promise. And he promised the seed will be blessed, our nations will be blessed. We believe on him and had the faith that Abraham had. Wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions. Till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator, okay, an interceder. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Because it's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's three in one. The Holy Trinity is one. One God, one faith, one baptism. Is the law then against the promise of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. Certainly not. So he's saying that's, that's, that's foolishness. If, if, if you think we're we going to be governed by law, govern, it's faith. But the scripture have concluded all under sin that the promise by faith of Jesus. See, the promise has come through faith of Jesus Christ. Believing on him. You can't believe on him without faith. It's not works. It's faith. Some of the things hoped for, others things not seen. Might be given to them that believe. See, this is so, so powerful. While Jesus gave the, um, made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He made a covenant, each one individually. And this is very, very powerful. That how much he believed in him. Now, many is willing to sacrifice the son, you know, and um, do the things that, that God tell you to do, even though it hurts you no matter, you know, what it hurts you. You know, it hurt him to take his son up there and, 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 and get right sacrifice the son for the Lord. But Jesus stopped him. He just knew that he was going to be obedient to him. But before faith came. We were kept under law. Now, 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 here we go. Uh, Jews were under law before faith came, for grace came. Okay? Now, when get grace came, that don't mean go and, and, and you have a will to go and do it whatever you want to. That's not what that means. Because we must repent from our ways and, and, and do the things that God's tell for us to do. He knows that we are in the flesh. But we're not to be conformed to this world. We are to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Okay? So don't get it in your head. He's saying that you, 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 grace, you're saved by grace, but you don't take that at face value. God wants you to repent and to come to him. They have a changed heart, changed spirit. So don't, that don't mean go ahead and, and, and keep sinning and nonsense because you should have you saved by grace. That's false gospel belief. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith has come, we are no longer under schoolmaster. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So like I say, everybody is called to salvation. To come to Christ Jesus through the faith, the faith, not works, but faith, You're justified by faith. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, which means Gentile. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for you are all in Christ Jesus. So what does we say? Faith, substance, things, hope for, of this things not seen. Called salt to salvation, male, female, Jew, Gentile. We all called, okay, to pretty much um, it's believers. Jew believe, Gentiles believe. 
It's all in the body of Christ, the believers. And if you be Christ's, then are you Abraham's seed? So he's saying that if you if you if you believe on him, you part of the seed of Abraham. Is what he is saying. Now, and I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all. But it's under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father, his guardians and his stewards. Even so, we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son made of a woman made under the law. Well, so first the Jews were in bondage. Then God died, resurrected, came grace. And we were all under the covenant, included in the Abraham seed, in the covenant, all believers. To redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons. Now we were adopted, Jews were adopted into the seed of Abraham. Adoption means inheritance. If you, if you adopt it, you adapt into a family, you inheritance. You 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 um you are you will that inheritance, you're part of that inheritance. Adoption, that's what adoption means. Gentiles are adopted into the Jews, into the covenant of Abraham. So that's what that means. You inherited, you under that inheritance as well. And because you are sons. God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore, thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Christ. That's what I said. You, you, the, the, when you were adopted into this covenant, you became the heir, okay, of God. How be it then, when ye knew not God, ye did service unto them which by nature are no gods. But now after that ye have known God, or rather are known of God, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements, whereunto ye desire again to be in bondage? So, so ye, ye observe days and months and times and years, I am afraid of you, lest I have bestowed upon you labor in vain. So we, you know, Jesus is saying, don't be be foolish. And, and you can observe times, the months and days and, 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 and years and things of the world and not have the sermon for, for him to believe on him. Because uh, um, we are it's in the flesh are quick to believe in something that's worldly than we are to believe on Christ the Lord our Savior, our Messiah, our, 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 um, Yeshua HaMashiach, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're so quick to believe in the things that we can see with our eyes that's on this earth than we ought to have faith. Because the, the carnal mind is in enmity with the Lord. You know, the things here on earth is temporary. But this, but 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 God is spirit, not by power, not by might, but by spirit. Says the Lord, God is spirit, and spirit is 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 eternal. So the things of this earth is temporary, and He's saying, "Do not be fool, but be otherwise." He's saying a foolish person will believe in the things of this world, but God said. We cannot please him and by living for this world, we have to live for Christ. We cannot please God being conformed to this world. We are to be in this world, but not of this world. That's what God says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So this is um, very, very, very powerful because the body of Christ is, is, is we are, Gentiles are adopted of the covenant of Abraham's seed. 
they were adopted, which means they they um, guess the inheritance as well. Is what God is saying. It's no separatism. It's no replacement. It's a joining. Because he called us all to salvation. First the Jew, then the Gentile. He called us all to salvation. To be believers on him. Just as Abraham got that covenant, his seeds were blessed. You become under the seed. You were adopted in. And what does adoption mean? You inherited the blessing of Abraham. So this is what this means. Very, very powerful, everyone. This is very, I'm just getting, feeling chills reading it. This is so powerful. We inherit the blessing of Abraham when you are Gentile as well as Jew. It's the blessing of Abraham. He, bless, he said he will bless his seed and then we are adopted into the covenant. So we all are under salvation for God's glory to believe on him. He gives us all a chance to believe on him. Now, it's, it's, it's by choice. Now, he's he not going to sit up there and bang you upside the head and make you believe on him. He give us free will if we want to believe on him or not. But I prefer to be on the side of the Lord and not in the side of the world. So, faithful without works is dead. You cannot please God through works. That's false gospel. He said you please him only through faith. Without faith, you cannot please the Lord. This is what God, I mean, this is what um, um, Paul was, was, was um, conveying to the Galatians because they were foolish in their thinking. They were believing in the wrong gospel. Okay, so um, I hope you all had got revelations out of this wisdom, knowledge, and revelations. And um, to read your Bibles every day, it's very important if you want to stay rooted in the Lord, because you you want to be able to fight the wiles of the devil, the principalities. But um, may God cover you with His blood. This video is covered by the blood of Jesus. The Lamb of God, the Lion of Judah, go in peace with God's blood covering you. Give God thanks for all things. May nothing come up against this broadcast. I bind it in the name of Jesus. And no backlash in Jesus' name, covered in the blood of Jesus. I'll come back with another great lesson. This is Lisa, God's messenger. Love you all. Jesus loves you all. And go with the peace of the God over your life. Thank you all. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. See you soon. <laughs>